Okay, blah, blah. All right. So I'm not invested in this project personally. Uh, however, uh, it actually turns out that, oh, and I found out about this project through the Elite Discord, of course. And it actually turns out this is already cross-chain, and they've already been around for quite some time. So in their case, they're actually, let's see, I was able to bring up a much bigger picture somewhere around here. Oh, okay. Well, I, I guess not. What is this? Oh, Jesus. Oh, sorry about the eye, the, uh, eye damage there. <laughs> uh, mistake. Uh, okay, so they are on Polymatic and AVAX. You can't see because my stupid camera's covering. So on the upper right corner where it says My Wallet, all right, it says Matic, all right, and then AVAX. So this, this is obviously for AVAX, but, oh, I can add Polymatic right here. Oh, that's really cool. Well, how, how convenient. Well, there you go. Uh, okay. Well, it turns out I just connected the uh, Polymag. It actually showed me the MetaMask thing, so I don't even have to add in anything. So yeah, if you want to go into Polymatic, which actually has the cheapest fees, apparently, you can even work on this. So, in fact, AVAX has more money locked than Polymatic. Okay. So they've got a very nice-looking website. You know, you know, very cute-themed, very uh, literally catty theme, And switch to AVAX. So obviously we're going to focus on AVAX, because I'm not on Polymatic, but I will be soon, because of Sphere Finance. Um, and these guys are on Yield Wolf, and I don't think they are, because they have their own auto compounder, which you could kind of see over here. Uh, which appears to be just to be a fork of Beefy Finance. And they're creating their own little thing, which is fine. I Again, that's another reason why. I want everything on Yield Wolf. If it's not on Yield Wolf, then it's like, okay, I can't consolidate my shit. I don't want... 50 trillion tabs in my Chrome. It's like, you know, but you know, I'll still give it ex the project exposure for anyone that is willing to put up with all that. So, and with that being said, this looks like a very safe project. They've been around apparently for a long time. I was even able to do, oh my God, I did four hours. That's not even enough. So if I do one day, wow, these guys have been out for a few months already. So we don't have to worry about contract risk or even rug pull risk. So they were released December 10th. Wow, these guys must have been one of the very first Tomb Forks. December 10th? I thought Tomb Forks came out in January. I mean, we all call it Tomb Forks, not Kitty Finance Forks. What the? All right, well, this is a very safe project, obviously, but I don't need to look that far back. So we're going to just stick to four hours from now. Maybe I'll zoom out a little bit so we get a little more context on the price. So this definitely looks like a very safe project. I mean, very safe. So I guess if I had to guess, it look, I'm going to guess that they were probably first on AVAX and then moved cross-chain to Polymatic. Because I didn't actually know that this was so far, like, old. I mean, in this case, this is considered an old project, given the circumstances. So, yeah, they're three months old, right? December 10th, January 10th, February 10th. They're pushing almost, they're three and a half months old. They're going to push four months by March 10th. That's pretty crazy. It's pretty crazy. So, they are pegged to one AVAX. Okay, they got 2.6 million TVL, and they are currently below peg. Now, what's interesting is I still see people staking their... What the hell just happened? Oh, okay. They just shook. So I still see people staking their shares, which in this uh, website calls it cats, right? Yeah, that's funny. Your base tokens call it kitty or a kitten, and then you have cat, which is like the actual full-grown kitty cat. So, I don't know. So for, sorry, for all of you who really like pets, especially cats, you probably would actually like this project a lot. So it doesn't really seem to really pay that much APR. That's another shitty thing. But aside from that, I mean, this is a pretty safe project, right? I mean, I don't even think I need to talk too much about the safety at this point. I mean, they've been around forever, right? Compare everyone else. So you know it's not a rug pull. You probably know that there's no contract with the to token risk, right? Developer error. I just mentioned that last video. I hope I was recording because I'm going to be, you know, so yeah, I am recording, and yeah, I mean, this is pretty stable. Am I looking at this right? Uh, yeah, they kind of have to fix this blue bed frame thing. Okay, so 
This is interesting. So even the shares are below PEG, uh, in this case below AVAX. It's really close to AVAX. So I guess in a way you're basically farming AVAX with this thing. So that's a kind of interesting play on things. And obviously people don't seem to have a problem there. I mean, they're locking in a lot of money. And I, let's see, this is a sleepy kitty. Okay, so I don't actually know what this is. Oh, this should be a bond. This is, these are bonds. Okay, so I think they're actually in debt. <clears throat> yeah, these guys are in debt. Okay. I was like, wait a minute, is this another, is this like three own kind of type of deal? But no, it's the bonds. So that's pretty funny. Uh, a cat that's sleeping. All right. So we have S Kitty, deposit S Kitty and earn cat. Oh, that's Sleepy Kitty. So that's kind of... Okay, so this is actually kind of interesting. So you can stake your bonds to earn more cat. Right, that's the shares. All right, because I was confusing cat with kitty. All right, because they're kind of basically the same thing. Okay, and then you can have wrapped cat for some reason. What? What is this? Well, it's half a percent. So... I don't know, I'm not going to do too, too much thorough uh, investigation in this because obviously I'm not invested in this project, so I technically don't really care. Uh, so I'm not sure why they have a wrapped cat. I, I guess there's a reason for it. Uh, and of course, you got the single stake and pull, which is 0 0.86. Let's see, if the, let's see if the rewards are correct here. Uh, 0.21%. Yeah, I mean, these APRs are very low, but I mean, you, you're basically getting... Uh, Safety. So you have 0.94%, so that's about right. So what is single staking paying out? Yeah, so they're also doing it correctly too, essentially. So their single staking on their base token kitty, right? Is, you know, pays out a pretty good APR. And it's actually even more so than kitty AVAX LP. That seems to be the trend too. So, you know, whatever it is you have to do, you gotta really focus all of your rewards as much as you can into the base token. Specifically, the base token single stake. So in this case, that would just be Kitty alone. And then you'll bring yourself up, back up above Peg. I don't know why people are still staking in the boardroom. I mean, it's not printing anything. Or at least I hope it's not printing anything. But, you know, there it is. Okay, so we already looked at the chart. So at one point, Kitty, the base token, was as low as nine, like basically $19.90 or $20.00. Uh, I mean, this is, yeah, that was the all-time bottom, so not bad. So even though you get really shitty APR, what you get in return is really good safety. So it makes it a lot harder to dump the price because you're just not printing that many kitties and cats, right? <laughs> you're not producing many kitty cats, right? So your price action is going to be a lot more stable and a lot and towards the higher uptrend, and you can clearly see that. So obviously idiots that were dumping, right? paper handing, fudding, whatever. Then you were bought at the bottom and then you already made like triple and a half, so 3.5x. And then you get a little bit of, uh, you know, okay income. All right, you get a little bit of okay income. Pair that shit up with Kitty AVAX or Cat AVAX if you bought the thing. Uh, and then you just enjoy your below, it's like slightly below 1% daily APR. Now it's not a lot, but it's safe, right? And of course, this is already cross chain, all right? It's cross chain with Polymag. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna. I don't want to type in the, find the contract address and just wait more, more time. But you know, so the, but they've already been cross chain for probably some kind of time. Okay, and of course you have their. They have their own uh, auto compounder, which of course apparently uh, they just simply forked. All right, there's copied and pasted Beefy Finance because this looks exactly like Beefy Finance. So I don't know if Beefy Finance got their code from somewhere else and then main changes but you know here's the auto compounder if you want to do it you know so 0 0.2 daily cat avax lp yeah i mean this what oh that actually is correct because i was confusing with the apr of the single stake but we actually go to the kitty avax lp here on the website yeah it's actually the same it's the same uh, APR essentially. So yeah, you would put your auto compounder in here. You were like, if I were to do this, I mean, I would still kind of want to do cat AVAX because that's where all the money really is. Uh, but you know, I mean, I kind of would need to support the project. So 
I mean, it would depend. Oh, and it tells you right here, it auto compounds every two hours. Oh, okay. So if I really had to guess, I would probably just be a selfish prick and just do a cat AVAX anyway. All right, because they need the money. But, you know, if I were feeling nicer and not a selfish prick, you know, maybe I would do like 20, like let's say I had, let's say I had like $500, right? Lying around, which isn't the case anymore. <laughs> of constantly spending every single dollar buying projects, right? You know, I save up for sphere finance. And I'm actually fully compounding my mansions on R&D. I'm actually going to go for 49 mansions. That seems to be the best number I've calculated so far before I get hit with a very large claim and anti-will tax, which I'm okay with, right? Because you actually want to, I mean, that's why, you know, Playmates is doing really well. We'll see what Canaverse World does when they, they're actually supposed to roll out version two contract, like some updates today. So we'll see what Georgie's got cooked up, you know, because, yeah, he said he has to basically overhaul the code, code and then just implement sales taxes instead to allow free market trading so i'm totally okay with that yeah because you it taxes suck but they're kind of necessary right you, 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 like i remember what i was bitching about in the last video with the phantom shit the harry e and andre Condre tech and all these fucking assholes that are deliberately holding back phantom that's why you need taxes because there's always going to be these predatory parasitic whales with all their money how do you think they got rich right you know, technically, you and I are going to wind up doing the same thing, too, because that's just the nature of crypto, unfortunately. All right. You know, most rich people aren't going to invest at the bottom. All right. You know, like I tend to do. All right. But well, whatever the case is, you just need a, you just, that's the simplest and automatic and scaling way to just simply deal with whale damage. Right. So higher taxes than, you know, whales like. Yeah, they'll try to fuck up your project. Well, they're not going to try to fuck up your project. They just want, you know, money. But, you know, you make them pay for it. And they're like, you know what? That was just too much taxes. I'll move on to the next thing. And then that's it. Your project stabilizes. So anyway, uh, but yeah, I would put like, if I had 500 bucks, that would put 25%. So in that case, it'd be $125 in the Kitty AVAX just to, you know, support the project. And then they 75%. And then the remaining 75%, $375. We're going to the cat AVAX LP so I can make a little bit of actual money, you know, you know, but if I really wanted to support the product, I always go straight to the kitty single stake, right? Uh, and, and then just do this, right? And then, you know, manually compound, but obviously I just don't have time to do that, but luckily other people do. So yeah, actually a lot of people do. We got $734,000 TBL in this, so not too bad, not too bad. And I'm not, and I wouldn't, and you know, you're not a complete asshole for being in the shares LP because you do need this to actually be active. Otherwise, you can't, you know, you're gonna have price impact problems when people claim their cat rewards and then dump dump it because you're that's what you're supposed to do to go buy kitty. So you want to make sure that you still have a healthy amount of liquidity anyway. So it's like, okay, well, then I'll just be a selfish asshole and do this, all right? So, yeah. But other than that, this is a very safe looking project. It looks ultra, ultra stable and very safe, right? The only downside, and of course it's cross-chain. So again, the only downside is really shitty APR. So this is really more of like, maybe you have a lot of money maybe, or you're willing to put more money than normal, right? And you're looking for a safe Tomb Fork play. Yeah, Kitty Finance would probably fit the bill, all right? I mean, technically, you could also go into Tomb Finance, right? But then you'd be supporting Harry E, technically. And obviously, I'm just not going to do... Uh, if I can help it, right? It's the same thing with Sol Solidly, right? The Andre Kanje tech asshole, right? He's got $2 billion uh, locked in the Solid Dex auto farms. I don't know. There's a lot of money in there, but... You know, I'm just not, I just don't want to support that kind of shit. Right? At least not on Phantom specifically. You know, we deserve to have cheap gas fees and not be held back by these predatory billionaires. Or really just predatory whales in general. Right? I'd be willing to tolerate it if it was decentralized, but basically Phantom is controlled and centralized by these fucking asshole billionaires. So, you know, and then, and then they make the validator cost very prohibitive 
to prevent, you know, something like what's happening on AVAX, for example, where they openly encourage people to become validators and make it as cheap and easy as they can without making it too cheap. Because apparently there is a problem if you make it too cheap and then everyone becomes a validator. I'm guessing there's some kind of, like, network risk associated with that. And I'm okay with that, too. So, you know, just something reasonable. But on AVAX, you only need, like, 14000 or $20,000 at most, right, whatever 2000 AVAX is, to become a validator. And apparently it's also pretty cheap hardware wise to run it. But on Phantom, you need, like, the really expensive Amazon, like, quad-core fucking super package that that's, like, three grand a month. And like 500,000 Phantom. It used to be 750k, but apparently it's now just 500,000. It's like, who the fuck has half a million dollars to put in a freaking Phantom? You know, so it's like, you know, go fuck yourself, fucking Predators and Phantom, but, you know, whatever. I already did that rant, so uh, no need to, whatever. But, you know, I want to start waking you up all to, like, the truth of these fucking assholes. All right, you want to know why? I mean, let's, let's just take a look, all right? Because one of the validators on Phantom went down already, right? It used to be 59, now it's 58. Yeah, still 58. It's like... <sighs> See, these are fucking assholes. These are like, look at this shit, man. This fucking piece of shit. You know? I'd be okay if it was like something like Spooky Swap or like an actual exchange and people are just exchanging. That's not the case. Look at this. Deposit, get reward. Yeah, deposit, get reward. Deposit, get reward, right? And then fucking... What's the other one? Where's the other... I mean, I'm glad... I don't know why this thing is failing, but I'm glad. I assume it's related to the, you know, whatever. Uh, but the thing is... Doesn't this still... Oh my god. Doesn't this still jam up the network, too? Because it still has to show up in the blockchain and then report, Hey, this thing is a failure. I don't know, he's wasting a lot of phantom. Mm. But, I don't know what the fuck's happening. But I know it's claim, reward, deposit. Claim, reward, deposit. So, I don't know how long Solidly is going to provide boosted rewards for stablecoin farming, but if it just takes forever, then I may... If, well, I mean, when that's over... I don't know. I don't know. But I assume it's going to be here to stay. So I learned a little with it, you know, so. And of course, I always try to trade at off-peak hours, specifically nighttime before I go to bed for Phantom. Like yesterday, it was okay. Like Phantom gas fees were as low as like 450. Maybe it's gone lower, but I was like, yeah, I'm not even waiting. Just start far just start taking profit, right? I have to go to my Yield Wolf and start paying the low fee while I can still have that window. All right, but uh, I don't know. It's just like, I mean, that's just how it goes. You know, there's just fucking assholes in the crypto space. But I'm glad that most people seem to be pretty nice and, you know, helping each other. So, you know, it just would be nice if we had someone like that. I also be a billionaire and then wasn't a fucking dickhead. All right. So, I don't know. I think that could be me someday. But, man, I got a long way to go before I become even a multimillionaire. All right. I could probably, I think I could still do it by the end of the year. All right. But, again, it just depends on what happens with, like, the price action of stocks and crypto. All right. Alright, look at this shit. We're like below fucking 39k. It's like I hate these fucking evil rich assholes. Well, I just want crypto to go up a little more, you know, and keep going up a little more, but. No. 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 Why would. Why would the George Soroses and the JP Morgans and all these other fucking billionaire assholes. Why would they ever let you and me get rich, right? But. That's okay. I saw AFPAC 3 yesterday. You know, good old. Uh, for those of you who are new, it's like I have. I don't have political. Oh, I have political contacts, but I'm basically retired mostly from active politics stuff. You could even call it that. Right? I just basically tweet stuff out. Right? That's the most of my contribution these days. Because obviously, I enjoy doing this. And actually, I find that this is probably what God. I'm finding like this is what God wants me to do. Like when God doesn't want me to do something, what basically happens is happens is bad things just keep happening. It's just like pirating a video game, but instead of banning you from playing the game, the the, 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 the game code activates, and it says, hey, this is a pirated game, so we're going to make you lose, right? I believe Game Dev Tycoon on, uh, game dev tycoon on Steam actually has that kind of anti-piracy, and it's actually very effective. So that's essentially what 
what happens if I'm doing something that God doesn't like, right? And he, he obviously lets me know. So it's like, oh, boy. So it's like, oh, okay, I guess I shouldn't do that or, or whatever it is, right? And then that's that. So anyway, I don't know why I went that ramble. So I want to like walk. I want to get out. I actually uh, have to start changing my shitty amount of coins into like dollar bills so I could buy stuff with it. And then, I don't know. Uh, let's see, I think, uh, well, I better not actually play the XQC stream. I don't want the music to technically create a possible copyright claim. I think he's still stuck on that same boss, the Elden Beast or something. I'll see you all tomorrow, for sure, unless uh, we all die in a nuclear holocaust, right? Because the Russians launch nukes, and then we retaliate, and then we have, and then we have it becomes like Fallout, right? The video game Fallout, and then we're all dead. All right, and then uh, I guess none of this will matter, but I'm pretty sure the chances of that happening are it's like basically zero. So yeah, knock on wood. Last words, right? So I'll see you all tomorrow. I'll make. I'll definitely make sure to do the strategy video finally for Tomb Forks. Uh, I'm not even sure I'm gonna really say. I mean, I don't know. Well, we'll see. You know, we'll see. Take one day at a time. Stay present with God. That's what I'm always doing now. Uh, yeah, so like, subscribe, share, spread the channel. You know, growth of the channel is still pretty good, but over the past couple of days, it's kind of, I don't know if it's slowed down. I'm not really sure. Uh, I don't know. But yeah, keep spreading my uh, channel stuff around because, again, if you want me to help me help you and you help me, the more people that actually watch this content, the more people I'll check out these new projects and then go into it. And then, you know, we're going to have, you know, better community building. We'll spread more awareness, right? And, of course, that means more investors ultimately go, oh, hey, man, I should check out the project. Basically, whatever Jesse Eckel did for Titano, I want to become that. Well, I don't want to become that. That's essentially what I'm trending towards, you know, because if I'm not providing value to anyone, I'm just going to stop doing these videos altogether. So, you know, if I don't see much growth on my YouTube channel, I'm like, okay, well, I'm not providing value to anyone. So, all right, that's it. I'm dipping out, you know, because I don't have to do any of this, <laughs> right? But I don't know. How about, yeah. But, yeah, just keep spreading the word around, you know. Don't be an asshole and spam and whatever. That's just going to piss people off, and I don't want that, all right? You know, just... I don't know, whatever. But anyway, check out Kitty Finance or on either AVAX or Polymatic, all right? Just make sure you go on the upper right corner and select Matic, all right? And then, I don't know, I guess decide whatever you want, so. See you all tomorrow. Finally, going to do the strategy video that I'm currently doing for Tomb Forks. Again, I, I mean, I, I kind of already, I mean, you can already kind of figure out what I'm already doing, but, you know, we'll, we'll, I don't know, we'll, we'll see what I wind up saying. All right, see you all tomorrow. Thanks.